reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation to which that God was in Christ reconciling the world those who believe those who repent and believe unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and he has committed unto us the word of reconciliation he says go and announce that Christ paid it all everyone can come now and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord now shall be saved because now he commits to us the watch of reconciliation because of the cross now principalities and powers their powers are broken their plans are destroyed against our lives because of the atonement and if we come to the lord and we acknowledge the atonement the power of the atonement the provision of the atonement then all those principalities and powers will not have any effect upon our lives there's salvation in that atonement of christ there's healing deliverance in that atonement of christ now then we are ambassadors for christ as though god did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead. We now stand in the position of Christ, in the room of Christ, and what Christ would have done after he died on the cross and he rose again to now go from city to city and from place to place and to say, I died for you already. I bore your punishment already. I've made the atonement for you, but you still have to come. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Instead of doing that himself, he now makes us to do it in his room. In his turn, Mark chapter 16, verse 15, and he said unto them, as he says unto us, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not, even though the atonement has been made, even though he has shed his blood, even though he has paid the whole price, everyone must still believe in a personal way and these signs shall follow them that believe all these things are in the atonement all these things he has sacrificed for he has paid for in my name they shall cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues verse 18 and they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly sin it shall not hurt them they shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover then after the lord had spoken unto them he was received up into heaven and he sat on the right hand of god in acts chapter 8 verse 4 therefore they that was scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word in verse 5 then philip went down to the city of samaria and he preached christ unto them as they preached the word and the people with one accord give heed unto those things which philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles which he did for clean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies that and that were lame were healed and there was great joy in that city great joy with you and as you go out announcing the atonement of Christ everywhere you go joy salvation healing deliverance and as we go to Bomoshaw joy everywhere in Jesus name rise up and confirm and affirm that in your prayer pray from the depth of your heart the atonement has now been made and because the atonement has been made there's no need there's no problem that will not be solved salvation healing deliverance everywhere take the message out announce it everywhere Christ 
prepared it all and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved and healed and delivered in jesus name